Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a pumpkin and melon farm. This is a pumpkin farm that I got, I got going on. They're basically made the same way. There's no differences in them other than the fact one's a pumpkin and one's a melon. Um, as you guys can see, I got the pumpkins going on. This is a very simple design. It will take some time to gather the resources if you're doing this in survival. So we're going to go ahead and hop to our super flat tutorial world. And I'm going to show you guys how to build All this. All right. Thing. So go. what you're going to need is uh, five redstone repeaters, 15 redstone dust, five observers, five pistons, pumpkin or melon seeds. It doesn't matter. Two chests or one chest, whichever one you prefer. Five buckets of water, stone bricks or any solid blocks some glass, and something to light it up with. So what you're going to start off by doing is taking your uh, water buckets. You're going to find a spot where you want to start this. So you're going to go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, just like so. One across from each. Go one, two, three, four, five. Already you don't need your water buckets anymore. You're also going to need uh, 10 hoppers. I do apologize as I always forget something every stream I do. I know I'm absolutely amazing at forgetting that one item. So what you're going to need to do next is go ahead and take your pistons. So once we get that, I'm going to go ahead and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just like that. You don't need your pistons no more. So once you get those set up, you're going to go ahead and take your observers. This is a very simple build. And now what you're going to go ahead and do is go one, make sure the red dot's facing back at you, and the face of it's facing the same way the pistons are. So you go one, two, three, four, five. So now that you got that, you're going to go ahead, and you don't have any more of these, obviously. You're going to go ahead and take your uh, melon seeds next. We're going to go ahead and grab a hoe. All right, that's a shovel, a hoe. And right in front of the uh, observers, you can go one, two, three, four, five, just like that. And you're going to go ahead and take your uh, pumpkin or melon seeds. Go one, two, three, four, five, and go ahead and grow them first before we get to the backside. So one, two, th actually, we don't even need to grab a lot. We're in creative. So we go like that. Make sure we grow them all up, just like that. I can get it. There we go. Grow it. And we're going to wait on that one because I'm about to show you why. What you're going to want to go ahead and do next, grab your redstone repeaters and your redstone. And you're going to take your repeater and put it right behind a piston where the arrow's facing towards it. Just like that. And that's three. And then four. And then five. Now you're going to go ahead and take your redstone dust and go one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now that we got that, as you guys can see what's going to happen, once we grow this, this is going to send a signal out to all the pistons. So once a watermelon grows, it'll push the watermelon out into the hoppers that you're going to place right here. So we're done with the redstone. We're done with the repeaters. We don't even need the bone meal no more. So what we are going to do next is grab our uh, chest grab our pistons, I mean our hoppers, like that, and we're going to go ahead and dig a two by, uh, a two down hole, a hole that goes two down, just like that, and the reason you want to dig it down too is because of that exact reason you just saw. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and put down our chest, kind of like so. I normally do it down here. I'm messing everything up. So we're going to go ahead and do everything down here. And there we go. Place your chest kind of like that. Now you can put the chest anywhere you want. You really can. It really doesn't matter. And you're going to go ahead and attach this hopper to that chest. And attach that hopper to that hopper. That hopper to that one. That one 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 to that one. So now you got availability to this chest, kind of like that. So we don't need the chest no more, we don't need the hoppers no more, and we don't need the chest no more. What you're going to grab next is your uh, stone bricks, your glass, and something to light it up with. This is how you're going to start your tower, kind of like what I did. You're going to go ahead and push these out like this. So bring this out one in front of the hopper, 
and then bring it around to the back like that and then you're just going to go ahead and corner it until you get something like this now if you're going to put your chest here like i did what you're going to want to do is grab yourself a slab because if you don't what's going to happen is it's going to keep you from opening that chest so with the slab you can go ahead and open that chest and you should be able to still open it no you can't do it so i'd recommend you put the slab like that you take your uh light put one on each corner like that and you're gonna go ahead and go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one so as you guys can see it activated the hoppers uh, activated the pistons and now you got your pumpkin in there so that's a start and to keep the uh, the pistons from pushing it out you want to go ahead and take your glass blocks just like that until you fill it all the way in and then you got it covered so if you want to go ahead and go through the next floor what you're gonna to want to do is repeat the process so you go like this so leave that open there you go over the piston leave it open over the piston leave it open over the piston whoops over the piston leave it open over the piston leave it open over the piston just like that and then you're gonna go ahead and take some dirt blocks you're going to need 10 dirt blocks in order to do this and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you just repeat the process is all you do. So then you take your water buckets like that. One, I am messing everything up, but you guys get the point. So once you get that, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you just repeat the same process you did down here. And every time the pistons activate, They'll push the pumpkin or melon, whichever one you're using, into the hoppers, into the chest that you guys got set right over here. So, hopefully this tutorial is helpful. It was a quick tutorial. It's an easy tutorial. If you want to have a starter farm going on, you're going to need to get into the nether to get the quartz to make your observers. But um, once you get into the nether, you're pretty much set. You can go ahead and make your starter farm, and it's going to look fantastic, kind of like what we got going on here. Um... If you guys want to see more of these tutorials, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon to get notified whenever I upload more of these videos, my shorts, or even so much as go live. I really do hope this video was helpful, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.